Would somebody drop everything a little bit lower or just have some crazy tuning? Let's uh, let's have some discussions about that today and talk. Hey everybody, my name is Nick. If it's your first time on the channel, I obviously play a little guitar. I'm around the uh, Detroit area and I do a lot of camera gear too because I use it for shooting. Today I want to talk to you about tunings. I, I just recently put the studio together in a newer house. And I had different guitars and I wanted to have more set up because I could actually have more on the wall than I had at the last place. So I have about a good six, five or six guitars that I can keep out on a regular basis. And my thought was, why do I have them all at the same tuning? Now for a while I was using regular standard tuning, which is what everybody else is. So if I use standard tuning and I play something in G, somebody else is in standard tuning, which most people are, not everybody. Uh, then their, our G's will sync. Why would anybody change from that? Well, there's a lot of reasons. There's still a lot of bands, a lot of rock and roll bands, uh, metal bands and different bands that will actually tune down from an E to like a D flat or a little bit lower for even some harder music. The reason they would do that is because the, the sound's a little bit lower. I mean, just a little bit, like one fret, typically lower, but it still does make a lot of difference. It makes it makes the guitar sound a little different, especially with an acoustic. And it can also, it's also easier for singers to, I've had different singers ask me if I could tune down a little bit or, or play it in a lower key because maybe their voice couldn't quite hit that something that day or it just was a little, little hard hitting some of those notes or it's in that middle range of there, so they wanted it back down a little bit. So those are reasons why you might want to drop it down from like a, an E to like an E flat or D sharp. Now, when I had all these different guitars, one of my thoughts was, I'll have them all set up the same pitch, which is typically half step down. But I figured, well, why don't I keep my main guitar, my main Stratocaster, the normal half step down? Well, actually, let's go talk about it. So some of the different tunings that I'm using right now, this red Stratocaster is in standard tuning. This nylon string is in standard tuning. My main Stratocaster over there is a half a step down. The reason I do that is because I do play with different bands that have that like to be stepped down for different uh, purposes, and that's a little more versatile to me. And I can always just play a half a step up on everything if I need to play in a standard pitch. So that's perfectly fine with me. The bass on the end is actually standard tuning. Now this acoustic over here is a little bit different. This one that I just played the song for is in um, D A D G C C. It's a really interesting tuning that has two the strings that are the exact same on top. So it's got almost like a 12 string thing on top, which is kind of cool. You can get a lot of interesting sounds out of that and you can definitely get inspired to do different things, which is why I have it because it makes me think differently and I play different stuff on it. However, most of, like I said, most of the things that you're gonna play on this are gonna sound kind of the same because they have that 12 string on top. Definitely an interesting and uh, inspiring tuning to, to think creatively out of the box with. Let me know if you've ever used it or if there's another tuning that you like that's kind of interesting and why you might have different tunings on your different guitars for the same purpose, because they're different reasons or just because you're like trying different things out. Tunings are definitely fun, especially if you have tuning like this and you start using different tunings and capos, it just completely expands your horizons. Using all tunings with a capo is definitely very, very cool. However, keep notes on when you do that because I recorded a lot of uh, demo music one time on various different made up tunings on the spot and then used a capo with those. And I couldn't even tell you how to, what I, what tuning it was, whether it was capoed on capo, whether it had a partial capo, completely lost, but it's kind of interesting to listen to now. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about tunings and uh, yeah, that's it. That's our, my, my tuning thoughts for today. Let me know what you think. Bye. <laughs>